Hello friends, welcome to your blissful stress release yoga flow. Today's practice is going to be a feel-good practice where we're going to be really focusing on releasing tension out of the body, but also bringing your mind into the present state of awareness. We're going to flow, we're going to breathe, and we're just going to feel good with this practice. So if you're ready, you won't need any sort of props, just yourself and your mat. All right, so let's get started today in a child's pose. It's always a, a nice way to begin a practice to give us the opportunity to settle the mind, come back to ourselves. So let's open the knees nice and wide, giving yourself lots of space here in the center, reaching both arms forward. And then you can rest your forehead onto the floor here and just allowing yourself to relax. Closing your eyes and taking two deep breaths. With each inhalation, welcoming as much oxygen as you can. And then with each exhalation, giving yourself the permission to let go into this child's pose and truly bring yourself into the present moment, right now, right here on your mat. One more time, deep breath in. And let it go. Let go of the past, let go of the future. Let go of whatever you have to do after this practice. Simply focus on yourself, on your breath, and on your body. Beautiful. Now let us slowly release, starting to move vertebra by vertebra, coming up into all fours position. Good. Coming into your all fours position, just start to roll the spine for me. So we're going to do very gentle movement here. A circular motion with the spine. You can bend your elbows if you need to. Just letting go. Today's practice is all about releasing stress out of the body. So if you are feeling tension, anxiety, stress, really think about the intention of letting it go with each exhalation. And as you move and you connect movement with breath, it gives you that opportunity to let go even further with that exhalation. Awesome. And now from here, once you've done a couple of circles, coming into neutral position, walk your hands forward and go ahead and keep your hips over top of your knees as you drop the chest down. We're going to drop the elbows, place the palms of our hands together and come into like almost like a prayer position, going deep into our puppy pose, plus going even deeper into the triceps. So letting your forehead come all the way down and just staying here for a couple of breaths. Just keep breathing with each exhalation, allowing your chest to go deeper and deeper. As you continue to hold, just think about as you're releasing your body deeper and deeper into the mat, what it is that you need to let go of today. A lot of the times we hold on to this tension, stress, anxiety in this part of the body in the shoulders. So as we go deep and release tension, mindfully release also mental tension out of the body. Whatever circumstances you've been facing, perhaps people, whatever that has brought negativity into your life today, I want you to let it go with your exhalation. Wonderful. Slowly now, let's release. Releasing the hands. Come on up, gently walking your hands back into all fours position. Tucking your toes underneath. And from here, we're just going to press and lift up now into our downward facing dog. Take your time and keep your knees slightly bent if you need to, if you're feeling that extra tension in the hamstrings. And then begin to move the legs. So bending one knee at a time, pressing the opposite heel closer in towards the mat. 
Letting go of any tension in the back of your legs here. Good. Now once you've done it a couple of times, finding a nice comfortable position so you can let the heels just sink down as far as they will go today. Really drop those shoulders away from the ears, elongating through the spine. Opening through the upper body here. Take a deep breath in. On your exhalation, rounding vertebra by vertebra, coming into plank, holding your plank position, and then guiding yourself back into downward dog. Let's do that three more times. Moving and flowing with the breath, coming forward and back for two. Inhale, come through into plank. Exhale, back. One more time. Inhale, come through into plank. And back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, come through into plank. Chaturanga Dandasana or drop your knees to the floor for modification. Releasing the toes. Inhale, opening into your upward facing dog. And then exhale, press, release into your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it all go. Let everything go. Lift the heels off the mat. Bend your knees. Look to the top of the mat. Take two steps or a hop all the way to the front. Keeping your feet slightly apart. Inhale, lengthening through the spine. Halfway lengthen. Exhale, release and grab those ankles. See if you can bring your chest a little bit closer towards your thighs. Breathing in and letting go. Let's work with the breath. So we're still getting a little bit of that movement and flow. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift halfway just a little bit. Exhale, release. And again, inhale. Exhale, going deeper into your standing forward fold. Bending the knees, let go of your ankles and slowly start to roll up for three for two good and one coming into your standing tadasana opening through the chest and the shoulders inhale now reaching both arms up to the sky exhale bend your knees dive yourself all the way down inhale halfway lengthen exhale hands down step back plank position chaturanga or knees chest and then your chin inhale upward facing dog Exhale, press, release into your downward facing dog. Beautiful. From this position, taking your left leg, stepping to the front of your mat. Grounding the right back heel, reaching both arms up in towards your warrior one position. Holding this warrior one, really engaging through the lower body. So nice, strong support system here. Releasing the shoulders. Let's just add some movement of the arms again, letting that movement of breath and body connect. So inhale as you reach up. And then as you exhale, just let the arms release and open up the chest. Now follow your arms with the body. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, open, release for two. Inhale, reach. And three. Inhale, reach. And four one more time and five great job inhale reach up warrior one going a little deeper if you can exhale from this position just going to shift all of your weight hands to the mat lift the back knee holding this modified warrior three position so you want to keep your hands grounded for a moment and then all you're going to do is just bring your back knee towards the front knee so knees together and then push and extend for one. Bring it in. Exhale, let it go for two. Breathe deeply with this movement. Exhale, three. One more. And four, awesome. Either hold it here or if it's within your practice, bring your hands into your Anjali Mudra, into your prayer, holding your warrior three. Nice, strong foundation, focusing. Keeping your eyes at a center point in front of your mat. Great. From here, hands back down onto the mat. From this position, flex your back foot and then open up your hips. So we're coming into our half moon posture. Your left fingertips are staying grounded here. 
And then your right hand can either come to your hip or extend all the way up towards the sky. Breathing deeply here, holding this half moon. I'm going to show you guys a couple of variations that you can try if your practice allows you. So maybe you're just going to work towards this first variation. Second is to bend that knee and then grab your ankle and just pull the heel. So now you're getting really deep into your quad. Should feel really good. Third variation is quite advanced, so I'll just show it to you. And if it's within your practice, give it a try. If not, don't worry about it. That variation would be to place your other hand down, grab the back heel with your opposite hand, and then begin to lift your knee up as high as you can, bringing your body as close towards your left leg, the bottom leg. So it's a little bit more of like a standing split variation. And like I said, if, if you want to try it, give it a try. If not, stay in that half moon. Maybe that's something you want to work towards one day. Awesome. Now, wherever you are, go ahead. Come back into that half moon position. Let's go ahead and release that top arm. Square out your hips. Bend that bottom knee. Step your right foot back. High lunge. Both arms reaching up to the sky. Inhale. Open up. Open up. Exhale, hands down, step back, plank position, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, release into your downward facing dog. Let's take it to the other side. Right arm, sorry, right leg comes forward. Your left heel gets grounded to the mat as you reach both arms up, warrior one. So finding a nice stable position here, your front knee on top of your ankle, arms up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let's work with the breath as we release and open the chest and the heart. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, open for two. Reach. And three. Reach. Move with the breath. Four, let everything go. Reach. Five. Reach and open, warrior one, virvadrasana one. Exhale, shift your weight forward. Lift that back leg up, square the hips out. Flex the back foot, let's go ahead and bring both knees together and push away for one. Bring your knees together, move with the breath and two. Inhale as the knees come in, exhale, you press away. Good, one more. Exhale, press away, hold it here, and just see how you feel. If you want to give it a try, lift your hands, come into your warrior three. Hold and breathe. Nice, beautiful T, letter T with your body. Great. From this position, let's bring the hands back down onto the mat opening the hips into our half moon so your left hip comes over top of your right hip from here your left arm reaches up holding your half moon just breathing here so focusing on your balance on your stability on your focus on your presence hold it here or feel free to give yourself a little bit of play time and try some different variations if you wish grabbing the back heel pulling the heel towards your glute a really nice and deep stretch for the quad. Or if you're more advanced, you're more than welcome to do that full funky variation. That's kind of like a half moon mixed with a standing split. Great, so take whatever version feels good for you. I'm gonna do that second version because that's what feels best for my body today. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release back into your half moon. Hands back down, square the hips out first. Bend that bottom knee, step your left leg back. High lunge, both arms reaching up to the sky, opening through the chest and the heart. Exhale, hands down, step back, plank position. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back releasing into your downward facing dog go ahead and just give yourself two breaths here guys come back to yourself check in with your body check in with your mind exhale everything that is holding you back today 
that tension, stress, negativity, pressure, heaviness, whatever is in your body, exhale it out. Let's take an inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, round through vertebra by vertebra. Plank position. Nice and slow, chaturanga. I want you to engage your low upper body. If you need to modify, bring your knees to the floor. So come on down, come on down, come on down. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Release the toes, open up. Open up through upward facing dog, letting go of any tension here in the heart. Let your heart be open. Exhale, bend your knees, sit back into child's pose. Rounding out through the spine, Forehead comes down towards the mat. Beautiful. Another inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Come through. Back into that upward facing dog as you extend through the knees. Push back downward facing dog. Inhale, look to the top of the mat. Lift your heels, bend your knees, give yourself a big hop, bring yourself right over to the front. Inhale, halfway length and feet together. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly roll up for three, two, one. Release the shoulders. Inhale, arms up, reach up, grow nice and tall. And then as you exhale from this position, just lift your heels off the mat. I want you to hold and balance. And then from here, palms of your hands together, start to lower yourself down to the mat. So really engaging through your quads. Once you make your way all the way down, so you're still balancing on your toes, see if you can open up those knees nice and wide. And again, you can either hold it here or take it to that next step of placing your hands over through and grab the ankles or the heels behind you and then taking your forehead down. Wonderful, now slowly from here, hands come back over to the mat, and then you're just gonna bring your knees together and walk yourself back over to a nice lying down position on your mat, Shavasana, bringing yourself all the way down, and we're just gonna take a second to give our body a gift of relaxation before we close off our practice. So hands next to the side of your body, or you can even place them on the belly or, or on the heart. Go ahead and close your eyes and just take a couple of deep breaths. Once again, keeping that intention of letting go of everything that isn't serving us today. Any energy that is bringing us down, allowing us to feel heavy, let all of that go. Let that heaviness go and release into the ground. Let your body go. Just noticing the gentle movement of your belly as you breathe in and out. Feeling your heart beating in your chest. Just let yourself surrender. Let yourself completely let go let go to the mat to the earth underneath the mat relax your body and truly welcome peace bliss and joy With each inhalation, welcoming positive energy into the heart, into the body. Filling you up with everything that you need to continue and have a beautiful rest of your day. Now if you have the time, you're more than welcome to stay in the Shavasana for much longer. However, if you're ready to come out with me, go ahead and just move your fingers and toes. 
And then take one arm over your head, bend your knees and roll over to one side as you come on up into your seated position on the mat. Once you make your way over to your seated position, just keep your eyes closed, find that center, that balance, that bliss and peace that you've welcomed into your body. Taking a deep breath in, and let those shoulders drop away from the ears. Let everything go. Let yourself be one with this beautiful internal energy of joy, peace, and love. Once you're ready, go ahead and just bring the palms of your hands together and over to your heart. And bow down to your heart and thank yourself for your beautiful practice today. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you again. Namaste.